it goes on a little bit further, but uh, I'm kind of like my granddaddy, I don't, don't talk hateful in mixed company. The next one is Bill Monroe. We have any Bill Monroe fans here? Two or three? What are the rest of you like? Nothing? <laughs> uh, this next one is a Bill Monroe tune. Um, him and my granddaddy, granddaddy Compton, was about the same age. Pa Papa was born in 1902, and uh, he lived to be just about a nickel's worth shy of 101. So he was about nine years old, older than, than Monroe was, but he thought Bill Monroe was the best thing there was, bar none. And I think, I think Paco finally warmed up to me whenever I, I told him one time that I had went out and, and plowed Bill Monroe's garden with my Troy built tractor, and he just pondered that for the longest time. He'd get this faraway look in his eyes and, and a smile on his face. And I think that was the first time that he ever had ever taken me seriously about playing this little poverty box right here. He used to tell me when I was a kid that uh, the big frogs and the little frogs talked to each other down at the pond and, and uh, what they would say, the only reason I bring it up, Monroe says that if you listen to this close, you can hear the frogs talking to each other. And uh, it's kind of curious to me that they, they grew up so far apart and well, they were about the same age and they both were talking about frogs talking to each other. So I don't know what might be going on there. This one is called Frog on the Lily Pad. And you can make frog sounds if you want. Because I am. <laughs> 